For people like Sarah Reese, Wikipedia is indispensable. Composers, people, actors, countries, whatever you need to know, you go to Wikipedia. But for one 24-hour period, Wikipedia will close its virtual doors in protest to two pieces of national legislation, a decision that users say will have a large impact. My fiance is in college and he uses it as a reference. I'd say that a very important source of knowledge would be taken away from me and my family. The U.S. House of Representatives bill is called Stop Online Piracy Act, or SOPA, and it's PIPA in the Senate, Protect IP Act. What these bills will do is require U.S. internet service providers to pretend that these allegedly pirate websites don't exist, uh, sort of virtually disappear from the internet. The film and recording industry support the legislation, as well as CBS Corporation, parent of CNET and CBS News. But some internet companies, like Wikipedia, and privacy advocates are incensed. It's the free speech implications of this. It's like saying there are a few bad books in the library, so we'll just lock the entire library. Dozens of other companies, like Reddit and Boing Boing, are joining Wikipedia in protest. Also, Google plans on a homepage protest link. You could have 10 million phone calls to the U.S. Congress in one day. This has never happened before in the history of American politics, this kind of direct uh, uh, internet-inspired action. One company that will not be joining the blackout is Twitter. In a tweet, CEO Dick Costolo said that Wikipedia's decision was foolish. In San Francisco, I'm Kara Suboy, CNET.com for CBS News.